ముద్దుస్వామి దీక్షితర్స్ కాంపోజిషన్స్ ఆర్ అన్ ఎక్లెక్టిక్ మిక్స్ ఆఫ్ సంగీత సాహిత్య అండ్ వేదాంత throughout his life dikshitar traveled extensively visiting several kshetras dikshita kshetra darshanam is an attempt to visit some of these kshetras and get a glimpse into the myriad facets of dikshitar's compositions vaiteeshwaran kovil referred to in the ancient texts as tirupullirukku velur is one of the Tevaram shrines on the northern banks of Kaveri River associated with the Ramayana tradition this temple has attracted devotees starting from at least the 7th century of the common era patronage has been well received through the imperial cholas followed by the Tanjavur Nayaks and the Maratha kings the long corridors huge gopurams and spacious mandapams added through different times makes the temple a star attraction amongst the many other temples of the kaveri belt the siddhamrita teertham the sacred tank of the temple is believed to have medicinal values a neem tree on the eastern entrance serves as the stalavriksham swami as vaidyanathar and devi his consort as tayal nayaki or balambika bless lakhs of devotees who visit the temple round the year the dikshitar kriti on vaiteeswaran kovil kshetram that we would be exploring today is bhajare re chitta balambikam indraga kalyani set to mishra jati ekatala bhajare chit kala bika bhajare భజరే రే చిత్త బాలాంబికాం భజరే రే చిత్త భక్త కల్ప లతికాం బాలాంబిక వి ఆర్ హియర్ అట్ వైదీశ్వరన్ కోవిల్ అండ్ ముత్తుస్వామి దీక్షితర్ డెడికేట్స్ దిస్ కళ్యాణి కాంపోజిషన్ ఆన్ బాలాంబిక ఎస్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ దిస్ క్షేత్రం ఇస్ ఆఫ్ స్పెషల్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ముత్తుస్వామి దీక్షితర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ వెరీ సిగ్నిఫికెంట్ క్షేత్ర ఇన్ హిస్ లైఫ్ హిస్టరీ ఆల్సో we will talk about it in the charanam <laughs> yes the presiding deity here at vaiteeshwar and kovil is vaidyanath swami uh, a doctor in fact but what is this special disease that he cures us of 
I think Dikshitar gives us a, a, a beautiful clue for that also in the Charanam. And the consort is Bhalambika. Devi as Bala. A very supreme form of Devi as his little child in fact. Who is very determined. Uh, who, is, who is known for her uh, uh, abilities to bless us. You know, immediately, just like that. Like how a kid, you know, by, uh, by a mere sight of a kid, we all fall in love with it. Yeah, a, a, a toddler. And that is the form of Devi as Bala. So, Dikshitar obviously prays to her and says, I, I hold thee in my mind, my conscience. You just occupy it all there. And the opening itself is a characteristic Kalyani opening. Pajare Kamalam Oh, the Avarna Kirti. Yes. Great minds think alike. The opening notes are similar for bo- both of them. Yes, and it it establishes Kalyani in an unambiguous manner. And that is a lesson to all students of music. When when students of music pursue Manodharmam or when they try to attempt to elaborate ragas, it's the works of Mahan Vagyakaras like Dutu Swami Dikshitar and Tyagaraj Swami. What are the others establish the ragam? What are the other compositions of Dikshitar and Kalyani? So there is Bhajare Chitta Balambikam, there is the Avarna Kirtan, Kamalambam Bhajare, and in the Sampradaya Pradarshini, there is a third composition, Sri Mangalambike. The Sri Vanchiyam. On the Sri Vanchiyam Kshetra. And while two compositions begin in the Madhyasthai, Bhajare Kamalam, Sri Mangalambike begins from Tarasthai. Sri. Interesting. Bhajarere Chitta Balambika. So I, I meditate upon you to Bhajital as we use it in you know, spoken Tamil. Uh, it, it means to meditate upon, to think about, to pray to and all of it put together. So Dikshitar submits himself and says, mind and I am standing in front of you and visualizing you, what more? So he just starts praying to her and says, you are like this Karpaka Vriksham, the all giving tree. No, you pray to it, you get whatever you want. Kalpa Latikam, you are a creeper. That's a lovely phrase. Bhajarere Chitta Balamikam, Bhajarere Chitta Bhakta Kalpa Latikam. Uh, I think in this composition, Muthuswami Dikshitar picks up uh, quite a few phrases from the uh, Lalita Sasranama Stotra. An elaborate prayer to the goddess, where it lists out thousand names of her. One of which is the Kalpa Latikam that she is, the creeper. Uh, and she, she can bestow you with all that you want. And the best part is the usage of the word calm there. Bhakta Kalpalati Kam, calm. Yeah. And you also put an end to all desires. You are the Kalpalati Kam, you are the, the Kalpaka tree, the creeper there, Latha. And you bless us with whatever we want, all that we are desirous of. And finally, you also give us that kind of a mental maturity, a state where you know desires are all done with. Yeah, you 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 help us come out of this want and be free without it. So that's a so calm has that interpretation. Yeah, that interpretation is there. So Bhakta Kalpa Lati Kam Kam. You bless us with all that we want at a level we are just so saturated. We don't want anything more. So you help you've also helped us win over this this, you know, the the, the want that we all have throughout. Yeah, there is nothing that we need anymore. We are not desirous of anything. So you help us win over that. And all this is of course is couched a remarkable Kalyani, especially the second line. Bhakta Kalpalatika That phrase Damagari Panchamavarjim phrase And in these two lines we have a spectacular vision of Kalyani established which is of course delineated further in the Anupallavi and the Charma And I think Dikshitar gets into detailing out the qualities of Bhalambika as such in the Anupalla.
qualities of Balambika that Muthuswami Dikshitar uh, envisions in this Kriti are uh, listed in fact in the Anupallavi. All that we pray to you is for self-realization. The Anupallavi starts with it. Your Charanam, the holy feet of Devi here, the sacred feet, bestows or blesses her devotees to understand themselves. Nijarupa dana daksha charana. Nijarupa, the self-realization. Who am I? I think that question is answered by praying to Balambika. And then she is Aruna or uh, Aruna is that patch of red, that shade of red that you see a little before sunrise. Yeah, that's a beautiful crimson complexion. That's the color of Devi. And Lalita Sahasranama Dhyana Slokam starts with calling her as Aruna. I think Dikshitar just picked that quality, the attribute from there. Nitya Kalyan, she is ever auspicious. Mangala Rupini she is. And that is eternal. She is always auspicious. And I think that's the Raga Mudra there. Right? Yes, interestingly, Arunam, Nityam, Kalyani, Sharvani. Uh, the Raga Mudra, Kalyani appears in this. And not only this keeps enough. There are, like I mentioned, three compositions of Dikshita listed in the Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradeshini. And all three of them have the Raga Mudra. In Kamalam Bam Bhajare, we have Nitya Kalyani, Kathyayini. In Sri Mangalambike, we have Kalyani Chidananda Ghane in the Madhyamakala portion. And in this composition, we have Arunam Nityam, Arunam Nityam Kalyani Sharvani. So she is crimson red hued and she is eternal and she is auspicious and Sharvani, she is the consort of Shiva, the best identity to the eternal uh, mother that she is. Sarvam of Shiva. She is of Shiva. That's probably how you can translate it. So all the aspects of Balambika that uh, you know attracts the devotees towards her. The Upasana of Balambika, what they are blessed with, is enlisted in the Anpallavi. And the word Sharvani also appears in the Avarna Kitra, Amalam Bambajari. This composition is in the Dvitiya Vibhakti. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. Second Vibhakti. The second Vibhakti. And uh, Nijarupa Dana Daksh Charanam, Arunam, Nityam, Kalyani, Sharvani, Ajarere Chitta Balambika. Charanam part of this composition is just stunning. I mean, the sheer brilliance of Muthuswami Dikshitar can be understood uh, by a detailed uh, understanding of just the Charanam part. Uh, there is this very celebrated mantra, very revered mantra in the Sri Vidya tradition, which is called as Panchadasakshari, 
because it's made out of 15 syllables. And this mantra uh, is split into three parts. The first set of five letters, followed by the second set, which is of six letters, and then the four. So that's like five plus six plus four, which is a total of 15. The first set of uh, five uh, syllables, that's what is called as the Vagbhava Kota, the part of it. It, it essentially connects with Brahmaswarupam of Devi, the, the Brahmi Tattvam of Devi, where she is uh, into creation. Yeah, the Srishti part of the, the Srishti that she performs. The second set of six is where uh, you have the Stiti part, which is what is called as the Kamaraja Kutam. And the third Kutam is on the Samhara part, which is the Shakti Kuta. All these three are aspects of Devi and all these three are referred to in the Lalita Sahasranamam also. Of course, the mantra is reserved only for the initiated, but the meaning part of it uh, is what Dikshitar has very subtly tried to bring in as an interlude as he composes this wonderful charanam here. So we find references to all the three sections that you alluded to in the Sahitya. It begins with Shri Vag Bhavakuta Jata Chaturveda Swarupini Shingara Kamarajod Bhava Sakala Vishwa Vyapini. So Kamaraja is where uh, you know the, the creations, the sustaining part begins. So she she is she pervades the entire universe. Sakala Vishwa Vyapini Vishwa Vyapini, her Vyapakatvam or she pervading through everywhere is, is because of you know the, the, the Udbhava of Kama. And the third Manmada. line goes to Devi Shakti Bijod Bhava Matrakarna Sharirinim. That's another end. Matrukarnava Rupini, that's another phrase from the Lalita Sahasranamam, which uh, describes Devi's attendants, all of whom put together also form a part of Devi, where you have the set of alphabets, the 51 alphabets starting from A to Ksha. That is the Matraka. Uh, the, 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 the alphabets there, yeah. Each so of that is the Matraka. Yes, each of them. Ara Matruka Devata. So they, they, the, the, they put together, we call them as the Aksharas, which means that which is uh, always there. That which is Yeah, it is indestructible. That's the word. So, she uh, takes that form also. Interestingly, in Tiruvarur, we have something called as the Akshara Peetam. Inside the first enclosure of uh, Kamalamba's shrine, so there is uh, an Akshara Peetam, a pedestal, on which the 51 alphabets are inscribed. And people who are initiated sit there and meditate upon the Matruka Mantras in front of it. Dikshitar, of course, who has been a long-term resident of Tiruvarur and who has dwell deep into Sri Vidya traditions, bring that in. And very beautifully, because that is the Samhara part that uh, he is talking to in the last uh, of the syllabi part, the third phrase, he brings in the reference to her concert, Parameshwara, as Vaidhyanatha in this particular Kshetram where he is singing the Devata. So the last line says, Devanuta Bhavarogahara Vaidhyapati Hridiya Viharini. So she resides in the heart of Vaidhyapati or the Vaidhyanatha Puripati who is Vaitishwaran Kovil as we call it today. The deity is, of course, Vaidhyanatha and uh, he is Bhavarogahara, the one who clears us of a disease called birth, which is the starting point for all other physical um, you know, inabilities and uh, illness that we face. So he, he cures it for one good time and that's it. So once out of it, you don't suffer from any illness at all. You rest at the lotus feet of Parameshwara and that's it. So he helps you come out of this cycle. Vaidhyapati Hridiya Viharini. She resides there in his heart. Because of which she is, she has the capabilities to perform the Srishti, Stiti and Samhara, accompanies him, which is what is explored through the three phrases of the Panchadasakshari mantra. The first, the, uh, you know, the, the Vagbhava Kutam, followed by the Kamaraja Kutam and the Shakti Kuta. And in fact, the opening line itself is very arresting. It can be, it, it's a very intriguing and it's a very unique opening to me because it is just the Gandhara Swara. Shri Bhagbhava Kuta Jata Chatu The whole first line is practically dwelling on the Gandhara, on the Swara, the Ga. Okay, I think uh, for the initiated, of course, the first, uh, I think Muthuswami Dikshitar has tried to stitch in Swaraksharas in a very interesting way. We all know that some mantras have been brought in through Swaraksharas or some very unique prayogams that only Dikshitar has ever tried. I think here he is trying to bring in the first alphabet of the first phrase, the first mantra, the first bija, in fact, of the first phrase of uh, the Vagva Kuta, part of the Panchatasakshari, and he is making that into the, the Swaram part. I guess we should leave it at that. Yes, I think the, the rest is reserved for the initiated. 
but uh, one can just be you know we, we we should only just fall at his lotus feet the sahitya karta he is bhavaragadala modini bhakta bhishta pradayini bhavaragadala modini bhakta bhishta pradayini sevaka janapalana guru guha roopa mundu kumara ganani bhajade which is uh, which is always a uh, a very interesting aspect of dikshit kritis i mean every aspect of dikshit kritis is interesting the the charanam that just dovetails into the madhyamakala sahitya i think in this particular composition the madhyamakala sahitya acts more like a palashruti mm. where he enlists all that one gets by praying to bhalambika so he says the opening verses i pray to thee i meditate upon you bhajare re mm. and i think any stotra would will always conclude with a palashruti enlisting the benefits that you get of course these are much more than mere material benefits that one would get bhava raga taala modini bhakta abhishta pradayini bhava raga taala even that order is very interesting is the charanam we were discussing about the vagbhava kutam the first phrase uh, referring to the srishti part creation bhava and stiti for the kamaraja kutam where uh, you know raga which which spreads sakala vishva vyapini vyapini vyapakatvam is said and ragam no the, the the it it spreads around spreading its essence around and samhara is of course laya and you have taala taala so bhava raga taala kind of ma- matches with the vagbhava kuta aspect the kamaraja kuta aspect and the uh, shakti kuta aspect and the order is interesting yes bhava followed by raga followed by taala, taala. and all three together which kind of brings in the unison you know the, the completeness is brought in there sevaka jana palana guru guha roopa muddu kumara janani In the concluding line of Mathekmakala Sahityam is the special reference to Dikshitar's life history. Muddu Kumara Janani and uh, interestingly Subhanama Dikshitar in the Vagya Kara Chantramu of uh, Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradashini and in the entire Sampradaya Pradashini refers to Dikshitar's name as Muddu Swami Dikshitulu and Muddu Kumara Janani. It's truly a special association there. Totally. Uh, this episode of Dikshitar's life is very popular of how ramaswami dikshitar his father was directed to vaiteshwaran kovil to pray here to the presiding deity vaidyanatha swami and bhalambika for progeny and uh, muthu swami dikshitar's avatar we can say his birth has its prelude happening pretty much in this kshetram i think dikshitar uses that episode as uh, an interesting connect where he says to protect people who pray to you your devotees you brought in muthu kumara swami which is subramanya as guru guha as as the parama guru as the loka guru for us through subramanya who was a guru for shiva himself you brought in jnana it is only through jnana bhakti and through bhakti you attain her so that is what is going to protect your devotees so in order to protect your devotees you brought in uh, subramanya as guru guha as muthu swami which is probably dikshita refers to subramanya as muthu kumara swami and to us it can also be muthu swami dikshitar himself who is considered to be subramanya swarupam because he was also born on the kritike star the panguni kritike nakshatram and uh, i think for people who pray to balambika in order to protect them she has sent us muthu swami dikshitar as guru guha swarupam who through his works helps us attain jnana through which bhakti is also there and you know, we we realize through his composition and this composition couched in this exquisite kalyani with the madhyama kala sahitya starting with the mandrasthai nishada bhava raga ni sariri kala modini bhakta bhishta pradayini going to the crescendo as is typical of dikshmuthi swami dikshitar's madhyama kala sahitya and the next line musically is one one is just spellbound looking at it sevaka jana palana guru guha roopa mundu kumara janani dhamaga 
ಕುಮಾರ ಜನನಿ ಸೇವಕ ಜನ ಪಾಲನ ಗುರು ಗುಹ ರೂಪ ಮುದ್ದು ಕುಮಾರ ಜನನಿ ಪಂಚಮ ವರ್ಜ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹೋಪ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಇಂಬೈಬ್ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಿ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಿ ವೈದೀಶ್ವರನ್ ಕೋವಿಲ್ ಮುತ್ತುಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೀಕ್ಷಿತರ್ಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೋವಿಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಾಲಿಟಿ ದಿ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಉಪಾಸನ ದಟ್ ಯು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಿ ಕೃತಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಜಾತಿ ಏಕತಾಳ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಛಾಪು ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ದ ವಂಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಕ್ಷಿತ ನೆವರ್ಸಿಸ್ ಜೇ